Hello everyone, in this video I will demonstrate what you need to install VMware Workstation 17.5 on VMware Workstation 39. This video comes as an introduction to my next video in which I will try to explain uh, some VMware capabilities and offering suggestions on how to utilize the software for more than just running virtual machines such as using it to create OS templates, editing, edit the networks, create additional disks, port forwarding and more. So please like and share this video to reach more people and consider to subscribing to my YouTube channel to receive notifications once the next video is ready. With all that being said, let's jump in. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to download VMware Workstation 17.5 Pro from the VMware official website. I will keep the link in the description box below the video. As you can see here, I have the link. So we can just proceed to the download section here. So which operating system or the, uh, the host operating system that you are using? For example, if you are using Windows, go with Windows. And if you are using Linux as a main host, you can go with Linux. For me, because I'm using Vidora as my main uh, operating system or my laptop, so we'll go with the Workstation 17 Pro for uh, Linux and click here that download will uh, proceed. Yeah. Because I have it already, I will cancel and you wait until this one finish and we will proceed to the next step. Once we make sure that the bundle of the VMware workstation uh, file is on our uh, system, on our Linux operating system. So we need to make sure that we have the system is up to date by uh, issuing this command sudo dnf update, click enter and then pass the password. That we have the system is up to date if in case if not you need to um, proceed with the update and reboot your system and make sure that the system is up to date before proceeding with the installation vmware needs some dependencies to uh, to be installed so make sure that those dependencies are available on your system if not run this command to install them i will keep the command in the description box so you can uh, perform it as well similar to what i have here so let me just paste it here you can see here sudo dnf install fuse 3 gtk mm4 kernel development kernel header gcc which is compiler gcc uh, for c++ make and get lib and sl this one is important also uh, lib crypt this is for ovf to be make sure to make sure that uh, you need to make sure this uh, package is installed uh, available in your system to be able to uh, export and import uh, VMs, this one is uh, crucial. So let's hit enter and then press yes. Okay. The VMware dependencies uh, packages are installed and complete successfully. So let's proceed with the VMware installation. Now, once we have uh, all the related uh, dependency installed and everything is uh, right now uh, ready, so now we will proceed with the installation. So we need to type sudo, then vm, and click enter. We can see here that the installation was successful. And now we have the uh, VMware workstation installed. Now let's proceed with the next step. VMware have two uh, kernel modules, Linux kernel modules. The first one is vmon, the other one is uh, vmnet. Both kernels are uh, important or crucial for VMware to work smoothly on uh, Linux. So to uh, fix uh, this issue or at least to have those modules in the correct way, you need to download them from the GitHub repo. I will leave this uh, comment in the uh, in the under the video in the uh, description box. So once I click enter, yep, we can see here that it's already downloaded. Here we can make sure that the version of this uh, tarball file the same as the VMware. So for your version, you need only only change this uh, three digits based on the version that you have. In case if you have 17.0.5.0, you need to ch replace the one with zero. So to extract, we need to run this command. Make sure that it's extracted already. Yes, we have it here. Let's move inside it. 
Let's clear the screen. Now we need to list what we have inside. We can see here that we have VM1 and VM net. Let's start both of them. First one. The second one. So we need to copy them to the uh, to the location where is the VMware modules resides. Copy modules and enter. Pass the password. So we can see here we copy, copied already both of them to the correct location. Now we need to proceed with the VMware uh, configuration to continue the VMware installation. Now let's continue with the VMware installation. So let's search with VMware. You can see it here. Yep. It will ask me to accept. Yes, I accept. I accept the term and everything. Yeah, yeah. I would like to product update on startup. Next. Uh, actually, no. Uh, here I have a key. So here you need to pass your uh, key for the VMware workstation, your license key. Uh, finished. Will prompt for you to enter the your admin credentials. Yes. Then uh, this one will show up. Thank you for buying VMware Workstation. The VMware work Workstation is most advanced. Yeah, it's for the description. I enjoy. That mean everything is fine and already I have VMware working fine on my um on my uh, Vidora Linux Workstation 39. So the next video will just demonstrate the key features, tips, and how to use VMware. So stay tuned to that video and uh, thank you for watching. See you next video. Goodbye.